like to introduce some of the coaches and also the referees of today's competition. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to the 2021 National Swimming Competition. And today we have come to day three for the competition. And also we have invited Wu Peng as another special guest for our commentator. And this morning we have altogether 10 items, including the 200 meter freestyle for men, women, and also a 100 meter backstroke for men and women. And first, we will have the competition for the 200 meter freestyle for men. So, num lane A, Chen Ende, preliminary game results 150 25. And lane 7, Hu Jia, and the preliminary result is 149.93. Lane 6, Hong Jin Quan, preliminary result 149.21. Wang Shun in lane 3, and the preliminary result is 149.19. Lane 4 and Lane 5 are all coming from Shandong, Liu Xiaofeng. From Shandong, preliminary result is 148.52. And Qi Xingjie, Ji Xingjie, also from Shandong. And the preliminary result is 148.29. And yesterday, in the preliminary result, we see some, of, uh, some teams are very strong compared to others. And today we have three athletes from Shandong province. And also we have four from Zhejiang. We believe the first game is very difficult for all these athletes because they have limited time for preparation. We saw the preliminary game last night. We think there may be a very intense competition this morning. We believe Ji Xingjie will be a leader for this game. But I think Wang Shen have very good physical condition this time. As we look at the performance of Wang Shen yesterday, we see he was very relaxed. All right, the game started. 
So the record is 1 minute and 42 seconds. Let's see how these athletes perform today. All right, so we could see Wang Shun is leading others. Lane 1, He Jingyi is catching up. Just after 25 minutes, and he started to surpass others. He Jingyi and Wang Shun is ranking number 2, Ji Xinjie number 3. Okay, come to the last 25 minutes, I could see all these athletes have been accelerating. <laughs> so yesterday you talk about the 200 meter, so these athletes have to have very good endurance and also they need to have the power to sprint. And yesterday, He Junyi is very fast. And after the first round, actually, He Junyi is falling behind the others. And Ji Xinjie is catching up. Now he is leading the others. Very nice turn. Now we have the last 15 meters. Just half second ahead of the others. And Wang Shun is also speeding up. Probably we will see who will win the game, Ji Xinjie or Wang Shun. Wang Shun, number one. Just 0 0.1 seconds ahead of Ji Xinjie. The final result is 146.91. As I said, and this time we could see Wang Shun had very good physical condition. And yesterday, he delivered a very good result in the 200 meter freestyle game. And Ji Xinjie, uh, 25 uh, seconds. He's actually ahead of others, but um, maybe some of the athletes they have different strategies. So for some of the athletes, they may have different tactics in the game. They may want to accelerate right at the beginning and then reserve some strengths in the later part. See Wang Shun, 146.91, very good result. And during the replay, we could see he is quite satisfied because um, his result has already meet the level A standard for the Tokyo Olympic Games. And yesterday, maybe in the preliminary game, he was trying to reserve some of his strengths. So we will have the final for 200 meter freestyle for women. So the top three, Wang Shun, Ji Xinjie, and Zhang Ziyang. Congratulations to them. Actually, they have laid a very good foundation for today's game. It's very nice opening because they have already met the standard for the Tokyo Olympic Games.
And we will have the final for 200 meter freestyle for women. Dong Jie from Tianjin and the preliminary result is 159.66. Link Wan Yu Zhuoxuan preliminary game 159.65. It was just 0.01 seconds difference. And Link Seven Liu Xiaohan preliminary result 159.44. Link two, Ai Ya Han, preliminary result 159.44. Link six, Guo Ruining, the preliminary result 159.17. Name seven, uh, Tang Mu Han, preliminary result 158.54. Guo Chu Tou. Preliminary result 158.46. Yang Junxuan, preliminary result 156.27. If we just look at the result for the preliminary game, Yang Junxuan have a lot of advantage because um, she has a two second ahead of the second place. In the past few years, we could see for the 200 meter freestyle, Yang Junxuan had a better performance compared to others. So I think uh, the other athletes do not have a chance to gain a victory over Yang Junxuan, so she is competing with herself. So, for the standard for the Olympic Games, that is 157 to 8. So, for yesterday, Yang Junxuan is the only one who surpassed the Olympic standard. Let's see if she could gain a better performance today. Ai Yan Han actually also rank um, top 5, and for the first term, Yang Junxuan is still leading others. In the past two days, in the mid and uh, short distance competition, we think the turning is very important because sometimes you can see two assets very close together. But sometimes, if they have a very nice turn, they could actually gain some of the advantage as compared to other athletes. So this is actually a tactic or also a skill for these athletes. Because some people may swim very fast in a straight lane, but after the term, some of the athletes may be able to catch up with you. Now you could see Yang Junxuan already gained two second advantage as compared to the second place. Lost the 50 meters. Let's see if Yang Junxuan can gain a better performance compared to her result yesterday. Very nice result, and today the final result is 155.65. We just talked about Yang Junxuan, she is actually competing with herself. For Yang Junxuan, I think her objective is to gain medals in international competition. So she has to improve her competitiveness. So today she has gained the results 1 minute 55 seconds and 65. So this advantage has been expanded to 3 seconds. Congratulations to Yang Junxuan.
Yang Junxuan number one, Tang Mu Han number two, and Ge Chu Tong, the third place, just with less than 0 0.1 second. Soon we will have the final for 100 meter backstroke. And first we will have the backstroke for men's group, and later we will have the backstroke for women. And some of the renowned athletes will be participating in this item. I think for the final for the 100 meter backstroke, it will be very intense competition. And we are expecting that some of the athletes will gain better performance as compared to the preliminary game. Loda from name 8, preliminary result of 56, 31. Name 1, Wang Guanbing, preliminary result 55, 98. Name 7, name seven Wu Junjie, preliminary result 55, 92. Lane 2, Wang Gu Kai Lai, preliminary result 55.92, actually the same result with Wu Junjie in lane 7. Lane 6, Jing Yan, preliminary result 55.72, and actually he is a very experienced swimmer. And lane 3, Wang Yu Tian, preliminary result 55.66. Link 5, Lin Tao, preliminary result 55-48. Xu Jiayu, actually, uh, he is the Asian record holder, and the preliminary result is 53-07. If we look at the preliminary game, so you may see Xu Jiayu, actually, he was reserving some of his strength. Looks like he was quite relaxed. We believe um, with his skills and it is not a difficult task for him to gain number one in the national competition. And yesterday, we also talked about the performance of Xu Jiayu. In the past few years, he had very steady performance. Even though their performance was not as good as in 2016 and 17, but still, uh, we could find uh, Xu Jiayu. He has used up all his efforts in the final game. Now the game started for the 100 meter backstroke for men. And the world record is 51 seconds 85. Now you could see Xu Jiayu is already leading others at length 5. Lin Tao is also speeding up just right at the beginning. And the first one to make the turn, 0 0.46 seconds ahead of the others. Xu Jiayu is still leading the others. So for those athletes, if they have very nice turn, they could gain more advantage in the game. So now you could see Xu Jiayu is still leading the others. And for the other seven athletes, they're very close. So Xu Jiayu, number one, number two, Lin Tao, and Wang Yutian, number three. Actually, this is the same as the result of last day, uh, of yesterday's preliminary game. Actually, in the morning, we do not see a very high morale for all of these athletes. So we can tell some of their results actually lower than yesterday's preliminary result.
So for the level A standard for the Olympic Games is 53 seconds 85. Only Xu Jiayu hit this Olympic Game standard. I think uh, for the other athletes, they're not hitting the target and not hitting the standard for the Olympic Games. Still, we could tell Xu Jiayu is very relaxed from his facial expression. So for Xu Jiayu, he's also a member in the national team. And for this stage, uh, they have a lot of intense training. And I think he did not uh, specially prepare for this time's competition. All right, now uh, we will have the 100 meter back row for women. Lane eight, Gao Xing. And lane one, Liu Ya Xing. The result is 10283 in yesterday. Lane 7, Yang Yifan, the primary result is 102.75. Lane 2, Cheng Haihua, the result is 102.61 in the primary game. Lane 6, Wang Xuer, the primary result is 102.45. Lane 3, Chen Jie. The preliminary result is 101.24. Lame 2, Peng Xu Wei, actually um, he used to be a record holder for the national competition of 200 meter backstroke. And yesterday, the result is 1.004. And Lame 1, Fu Yuan Hui, and um, in the preliminary result, 59.58. Uh, actually, she is the only one to come up with the result with less than one minute. In terms of the capability and skills, Fu Yuanhui, she is leading the others in terms of the 100 meter backstroke. But of course, she may have many competitors. I think if she can't perform as usual, and she, she is quite strong. Let's see if these athletes can surpass themselves. And actually, um, I believe I still remember yesterday in the preliminary game, uh, Fu Yuan Hui was leading the others right at the beginning, and for the world record for this item is 57 seconds. Well, I believe Fu Yuanhui is using the same strategy because she is trying to gain the advantage just right at the beginning. Now we could see Wang Xuan from lane 6. She is also speeding up right at the beginning. Now Wang Xuan is number 1 and Fu Yuanhui is 0 0.03 seconds behind Wang Xuan. After the turn, see Peng Xu Wei is also catching up and she is actually slightly leading the other two athletes and the Wang Xuar is also use all her power. All right. Peng Xu Wei is number one. And the second place goes to Wang Xuar Fu Yuan Hui. Number three. And today we could see uh, Wang Xuer. And right at the beginning, she did not have any advantage, but in the later stage, she started to speed up. For Peng Xuwei, actually, she is very strong in the 200 meter backstroke. So I believe um, she has very good endurance. And for Fu Yuanhui, I think right at the beginning, she has not yet gained the advantage at the beginning. But yesterday, in the primary game, right at the beginning, Chi Fu Yuanhui 
whilst leading the others. According to the schedule, and we will have the award ceremony for winners for the 200 meter freestyle for men and women. So now we have just finished uh, four items. So, what do you think about the condition of the athletes? Actually, two months ago, you also uh, talk about the physical conditions of the athletes. You are talking about for these athletes, they may not come to their uh, best performance in the morning. So now we have passed two months. Do you see some improvements for these athletes? I think most of the athletes they have not yet come to their best position. But for certain individuals, if they are very experienced, for example, Wang Shun and some of the medalists, and they may be able to adapt to this change of the schedule, the change of the game time. So we are not saying that these people is gaining better performance as compared to themselves. But if we look at the results, of the preliminary game versus the final game. We can tell many assets they're not as good as the preliminary game. Because we have to consider the performance in the Olympic Games. And the schedule is we have the final in the morning and the preliminary game in the evening. So these assets have to change their physical conditions. Zhang Ziyang, winning the third place for the 200 meter freestyle for men. Number two goes to Ji Xinjie from Shandong Haosha. And the winner is Wang Shun from Zhejiang. He's very experienced and also have a very strong power, especially in the later stage of the game. To see he is very excited about the result because his results have met the standard for the Olympic game. I think this time today um Ji Xinjie also have very good performance. So especially I still remember in the last uh, fifty meters and these two athletes are very close with each other. And the difference is only 0.1 seconds. Very intense competition between these two assets. And soon we will have the award presentation for the 200 meter freestyle to, for women. So for some of the assets, um, they may have to change before they are going to receive the award. So basically, the award presentation and the ceremony will take place after two or three items. And when the athletes reach the game, they will relax, then they will change clothes and come to the stage to receive the award. And now we have the award ceremony for the 200 meter freestyle for women. We have a deputy from the Hebei Provincial Sports Bureau to present the award. Her third place to goes to Ge Chu Tong, 158.31. Second place goes to Tang Mu Han from Guangdong Team, 158.30, and just one second ahead of the third place. And the winner is Yang Junxuan, and her result is 
It's very encouraging to see these young athletes winning the game. Even though their results have not yet reached to the international standard, but still we could see their progress. Soon we will have the 200 meter breaststroke for men. If you look at the preliminary game, well, actually, you may notice so this competition has been divided into two groups. And for the top three winners for yesterday's preliminary game, they're actually gaining a very big advantage as compared to others. So, for example, if there is a leader in group one, and then the other assets will come up with better performance. So from the screen, you could see um, the coach from Qing Hai Yang. You may be familiar with Qi Hui, another renowned athlete. Name 8, the Chiu Tian, preliminary result, the 215.89. Liu Yunsong, name 1, and the preliminary result, the 215.68. Name 7, Shen Hao, preliminary result, the 215.10. Name 2, Huang Chao Sheng, preliminary result, 214.89. 89. Lame 6, Yan Zibei, preliminary result 21448. Yu Zongda, preliminary result 21347. Name 5, Zhang Ruixuan, preliminary result 213-23. Name 4, Qing Hai Yang, the preliminary result 210-96, uh, two seconds ahead of the second place. And he is also the record holder for the 200 meter breaststroke in China. So, yesterday in the primary game, Qin Hai Yang had a very good advantage as compared to the second place. So, let's see if we can have a more intense competition in today's final game. But I think yesterday the 21096 is not the best result for Qin Hai Yang. It's not his best result, but still he has gained a almost like two or three seconds advantage as compared to the second place. So I could see Yan Zibei is speeding up just right at the beginning because he's very speedy. And so that's why we think he's a very good athlete in the 100 meter race. Yan Zibei is number one and Xin Hai Yang number two. So for the 200 meter game, so I believe uh, we will see a turning point after the end of first 100 meter. 
Lane 5, Zhang Ruixuan is actually catching up with the others. Coming to the Tier 1 competition and very nice turn for Yan Zibei. Now we have come to the very intense competition for the last 100 meter. You see, Qing Haiyang is trying to release all of his powers. And for Yan Zibei, actually, he's very good at the beginning, but the second stage or later stage of the game, he may not have enough strength. Now Qing Haiyang is catching up, and now he's leading the others, and Zhang Ruixuan is ranking number two. Last 50 meters. Zhang Ruixuan very fast. But still, Qing Haiyang still have a half body strength as compared to others. Very good strength from Zhang Ruixuan. Qing Haiyang, the final result is 2, 10, 7, 8. 0 0.8 seconds ahead of the second place. 2, 10, 7, 8, Qing Haiyang, number 1, Zhang Ruixuan comes to the second place, Yu Zhongda, link from link 3. He's the um, number 3 for this competition, Yan Zibei, number 4. Actually, for the ranking, for today's final game, it's the same as yesterday's primary game. For Yan Zibei, for the mid-distance swimming game, on the later stage, maybe he did not have enough strength. So right at the first 100 meter, he is speeding up. But probably it is very difficult for him to strike a balance. So if you are very fast at the beginning, it may actually um, have an impact of the endurance. We will have the uh, final game for the 200 meter breaststroke for women. Zhang Xinyu preliminary game result is 233-33. Lane 7 to Yang Chang, the preliminary game 230-43. Lane 7, He Yun, and the preliminary result is 2 29.69. Lane 2, Zheng Mu Yan, the primary result is 229.51. Lane 6, Ye Shi Wen, the primary result is 228.76. Lane 3, Zhu Lei Ju. And the preliminary result is 228.75. Lane 5, Tang Qianting from Shanghai. And the preliminary result is 228.58. Lane 4, Yu Jingyao. Preliminary result is 223.91. And if we look at the preliminary result, we could see Yu Jingyao is leading the others with at least a two second advantage. And yeah, actually, back in the 2019 South Korea Championship, uh, she could also deliver the result of 223. And but still, if we look at the preliminary game yesterday, she is leading the others. So right now we could see all of these athletes have not yet come to their best condition. Well, that depends on the training and also maybe their strategy for the game. So we should not just look at one game to evaluate their performance. And actually this year, some of the athletes were impacted by the COVID-19 and we should not expect all these assets to reach at the world-class record. 
and we should give them more time for the training and exercise. And I believe all of these assets have their own plan for the training because right now they also have to make a lot of preparation for the Olympic Games. For Yu Qingyao, we could see just after 50 meters, she started to lead the others. Tang Qianting is followed Yu Qingyao and ranked as number two. Now we could see Yu Jingyao is, is gaining a bigger advantage as compared to the second place. And for these assets, we could see actually for when they come to the third 50 meter, then we will see their performance for today. And for yesterday's game, we have a, a 50 meter competition. And actually, Tang Qianting have already gaining victory over Yu Jingyao. So that depends on this athlete's training program. For example, some people may be focusing on the aerobic exercise. So these people may have a better performance in terms of the sprint. And for Yu Jingyao, maybe she is more endured for the competition. Right now, we have come to the last 50 meter, and Yu Jingyao is still leading the second place with around like two second advantage. Last 25 meters, and Yu Jingyao is keeping up with her pace. So that actually thanks to her aerobic exercise. So she has maintained with her speed. Yu Jingyao finally comes to the first place, and uh, Zhu Leiju, the second place. Ye Shi Wen, I believe, rank number four, 230.04. Well, the first place goes to Yu Jingyao from Beijing, and uh, her final result is This time for several items, we will see uh, maybe we have one extremely strong athlete. For other athletes, actually, that is a good thing because it could encourage them to break through. But however, for those leading athletes, so they have to work harder in order to have a breakthrough of themselves. So, for example, if someone is chasing you, and then you will gain a better result. Now we are having the award ceremony for the men's final for a hundred meter backstroke. The third place for the hundred meter backstroke for men, Wang Yutian. 55.45 is his final result. And the second place goes to Lin Tao from Guangdong province. And his final result is 55 seconds of 55 seconds 52. And actually a little bit better than the Wang Yutian. So Lin Tao is very good right at the beginning. Xu Jia Yu. 53.45. And uh, she is, he is the winner of the 100-meter backstroke competition. 
但也是昨天您提到的，就是这段时间徐佳余的整体成绩基本上就是在五十三秒。And also yesterday you mentioned for Xu Jiayu, and in these few days, and his performance is about like fifty three seconds. It's very difficult to realize a breakthrough for himself. Because for him, he used to come up with a result of 51 seconds. In the past few years, we are not seeing Xu Jiayu is making some breakthrough of his personal record. And we hope uh, in the future, and Xu Jiayu could come up with a better performance. Now we have the award ceremony for the women's final for a 100-meter backstroke. I could see for some of these athletes they're wearing a lot for as long as they're not sweating out. Uh, they should keep their body and their muscle warm. The third place goes to Fu Yuanhui. 101.95 is her final result. And yesterday in the preliminary game, she is actually the only one who has come up with a result less than one minute. And the second place goes to Wang Xuer. And her final result is 101.21. And the winner is Peng Xu Wei from Hubei Haosha. And her final result is 101.03. Uh, but still, we could see today these people are not able to break the one minute uh, threshold. Again, if the final is taking place in the evening, maybe all of these assets can, we can come up with the result with less than one minute. And for today's competition, we could see right at the beginning, Fu Yuanhui is not coming to her full strength. So when I look at the first uh, 50 meter, and I can tell it's very difficult for her to win the game. Because if we want to achieve a very good result, the very beginning is very essential. So actually, that is her tactic for Fu Yuanhui. She always uses up all of her strengths right at the beginning. So if she cannot gain the advantage in the first 50 meter, it's very difficult for her to catch up with the others. So for different athletes, they have to have their own pace. So we should not have a one-size-fits-all strategy for all the athletes. So we will have the final for the 100-meter butterfly for men and women. First, we will have the men's competition. This is the seventh game for this morning, the 100-meter butterfly for men. Name 8, Yan Weizhe, preliminary result 54.48. Name 1, Hong Jingquan from Zhejiang, the preliminary result is 54.36. Name 7, Cui Junming from Liaoning, preliminary result 54.34. Name 2, Chen Junar from Guangdong, and the preliminary result is 53.80. Lame 6, Chen Chaoqi from Shanghai Haosha, and the preliminary result is 53.74. Lame 3, Sun Jiajun from Hubei Haosha, and the preliminary result is 53.60. Lame 5, Wang Zhou from Shanghai, the preliminary result is 53.44. Link 4, Shen Jiahao from Zhejiang. And 
He used to be number three of the national championship in 2020, and his preliminary result is 53.19. If we look at uh, the, their preliminary result yesterday, we could see this athletes are very close with each other. So maybe we will have very intense competition. Because for the previous games, we could see there is a specific athlete leading others. So we could have a guess like which one is the winner. But as for the 100 meter butterfly for men, their results are very close with each other. And yesterday, I still remember for the athlete from Shanghai, Wang Zhou, he is very good in the last spurt. So I think uh, this competition will be very intense. And we will not able to tell the winner until the very end of the game. Uh, we could uh, see the waves of of the competition because this is only a hundred meter. So I believe uh, all of these assets they are using up their full strength for the competition. And Sun Jia Jun still leading others. Shen Jia Hao. So I think the Sun Jia Jun has a better performance compared to others. Now Shen Jiahao is trying to catch up with Sun Jiajun. All right, Sun Jiajun, number one, just right at the beginning, is actually trying to speed up. And the third place goes to Hong Jingquan. The first place, Sun Jiajun. And his final result is 52. Seconds, 51. So if we uh, look at their final results, actually they're better than the preliminary results. Because for these three assets, they're quite competitive. And with this competitiveness, and this, all of these assets will tend to have a better performance. For Sun Jiajun, at the beginning, he's uh, actually a swimmer for the breaststroke swimmer. And in the past few years, actually, um, he uh, changed uh, some of the swimming positions. Because after a surgery, he is not able to do the breaststroke. And that's why he started to become a swimmer in the butterfly. And soon we will have the uh, final for the 100 meter butterfly for women. Lane 8, uh, Chen Yuhe from Shandong. And the preliminary result is 1 minute. Lane 1, Wu Yuling. And the preliminary result 59.95. Lane 7, Han Tingru from Beijing. And her preliminary result is 59.84. Lane 2, Chen Xingyi from Shanghai, and her preliminary result is 59.62. Lane 6, Yu Yiting from Zhejiang, her preliminary result is 59.26. Lane 3, Ch Li Shuang from Henan, and used to be a second place for the national championship for a 100 meter butterfly. And named to Wang Yichun from Shandong. And her preliminary result is 58.30. And named for Zhang Yufei from Jiangsu. And her preliminary result is 56.18.
And yesterday, we also talked about Lisa's performance, and we think maybe Zhang Yufei is a better than the others. So, however, yesterday for all the assets except for Chen Yuhe, all these assets are able to break the one minute threshold. So we think uh, except Zhang Yufei for the other assets, there will be a very intense competition because their results are very close. Right, the game started. The world record for the 100 meter butterfly is 55.48. And yesterday, Zhang Yufei had a result of 56.18, already a very good result. So we think for this like 100 meter race, the first stage is very important. So we could see um, Zhang Yufei is. Is already leading the others. So I think uh, she is gaining a 1 second 44 ahead of the second place. So let's see who will be the second place. So this year, the focus for the training is the physical strength. So Zhang Yufei, we could see very strong in her arms. All right. Um, we could see today she is even faster than yesterday, and the final result is 56.08. With the Qingdao Championship, after the Qingdao Championship, we could see Zhang Yufei has constantly make breakthroughs in her performance, and she could always deliver a result with about 56 seconds. So I think in the future, she needs to come up with plan to further improve herself. I still remember in two months ago during the qualification game, I still remember she came up with the result. It's about uh, 55.62, very close to the world record. Just 0.14 seconds less than the world record. Very impressive performance by Zhang Yufei. Right now, we will have the award ceremony for the 200 meter best breaststroke for men. The third place goes to Yu Zhongda from Hubei Haosha, and uh, his final result is 2-12-16. And the second place goes to Zhang Ruixuan, also from Hubei Haosha, and his final result is 2 11 And the winner is Qin Haiyang from Shanghai Haosha. Very good performance. So actually he's leading the others for both the preliminary game and also the final game. This also helped the others to improve their performance. For example, for Zhang Ruixuan, then this time he gained the result of 2 minutes and 11 seconds. I believe that is his best record for Zhang Ruixuan.
Now we will have the award ceremony for 200 meter breaststroke for women. How well, some of the um, athletes do, they may want to uh, take off the medal after they receive the award. So why is that? Well, maybe it is just a national game, so they just want to take it out. And, and some of them, they have to do some warming up or they have to um, take some break. So they think maybe it is not very convenient to bring the medal with them. So even though we think the competition is over, but still these athletes have other things to prepare. Now we have the award ceremony for the 200 meter breaststroke for women. And the third place goes to Tang Qianting. And her result is 227 2.27.97. And the second place goes to Zhu Lei Ju, and her result is 227.74. And the winner is Yu Jing Yao from Beijing Shui Li Fang. We think uh, Yu Jing Yao is very strong in this item, and her final result is 224.41, over three second advantage as compared to the second place. Now we can tell Yu Jingyao is quite excited about her performance today. And this morning we have two more items the 800 meter freestyle for men and women. I think this is more of a marathon game in the swimming pool. I would say this is an indoor marathon in the swimming pool because 800 meter is a very long distance for these athletes. For me, I think, um, especially for the outdoor swimming competition, sometimes they have a 10 kilometer competition. It's very tough and very challenging for the athletes. So now we could see um, some of the list of the fast group of the 800 meter freestyle. So this time for the registration for the 800 meter freestyle, and they have these assets have been divided into two groups according to their uh, registered results. Ling one Luo Ming Xi. Ling seven Pan Zhang Yue. Preliminary result A O eight. Six five. Well, this is not the preliminary result. This is actually the uh, registered result because today we will have the fast group competition for the 800 meter freestyle. For the um, their registered result is actually coming out from the national championship that happened last year. Cheng Long. The register result is 80120. The register result is 75837. Hu Jia register result is 75707. And actually, he used to be the second place for the national championship happened in October. And at that time, the winner is Ji Xinjie, but this time he didn't sign up for today's 800 meter freestyle competition. And for today, if we look at the list, only two athletes are able to break the eight minute 
limit. And for Zhang Ziyang, he just finished the 200 meter race. So actually, with less than one hour, he had to um, change his personal condition. I think uh, physical strength is the key. I think for 200 meter freestyle, it consumes a lot of energy because it has a very high standard for their physical strength as well as the endurance. So for these assets, for some of them, they may sign up for different categories. So maybe they cannot avoid that they will have a two competition on the same day. For some of the athletes, if they used to compete for the uh, long distance competition, maybe they have a better endurance. But if those swimmers there tend to attend the short distance competition, and these people may feel very difficult to attend the long distance competition. But still, it still consumes a lot of energy for the athletes. After all, the 800 meter freestyle will be considered as the marathon in the swimming pool. The first turn, Chenglong, is ranking number one. Well, right now, all these eight athletes are very close with each other. Number one and number eight, they're with less than one second difference. Uh, Cheng Long is leading the others slightly. Uh, but I think right now um, it is not the focal point. We have to look at their performance after 400 meter. I believe after 400 meter we will see um, who will be the top three. Cheng Long, Fei Li Wei, Hu Jia, they are ranking top three right now. Not the big difference. So we could see Cheng Long is uh, accelerating and leading the others. So I believe different assets have their own habits. So what about you? Do you like to lead the others or you would like to follow the others? So I'm not focusing on the 200 meter butterfly. So I'm not very good in the outburst of the strength. So I, I really want to come up with the strength, come up with the advantage right at the beginning. So I would like to stay in the leading position, especially in the first 400 meter. I used to attend the 800 meter freestyle and also break the um, national record and back in that time the result is 8 minutes 07 uh, but right now 10 years have passed I, I believe that result is quite weak uh, still Cheng Long is leading the others Fei Li Wei is following after 300 meters, and Cheng Long and Fei Li Wei only have 0 0.3 seconds difference. Fei Li Wei is also very strong, very young athlete. In the youth sports competition happened in 2019, he gained a lot of medals in different items of the competition. And he did improve a lot throughout the years. And I believe very few young athletes are able to gain gold medal in different items because different items require different standards. So Cheng Long is the first to break the 400 meter. And for the tier one group, 
we have Cheng Long and also we have Fei Li Wei. So if Fei Li Wei can keep up with his strengths, I think there may be a competition between Cheng Long and Fei Li Wei. But we don't know what happens because in the 50 meter just finished, and we could see a fairly way is a little bit behind. Let's see if fairly way can catch up with Cheng Long. So at this time, they are actually competing with their physical strength and also. They are competing with their mental condition. Now Zhang Ziyang is ranked number three, but I think uh, he has a three second difference with number one and two. Now we can tell there's a one body length advantage of Tong. And the advantage is more than two seconds. So right now, the leading player, they may have a better performance because they are quite released. And I believe for all of these athletes, they have their own pace. If they're quite close, they may be affected by the pace of others. So after 500 meters, and you could see Cheng Long is gaining a very distinct advantage. And now we have passed 600 meters. So we can tell Cheng Long is stronger. He's still speeding up. And the advantage is over 5 meter. I believe um, he is very confident of his condition today because he's trying to lead others right at the beginning. And Fei Li Wei is catching up with him, but I think she, he is quite young, so he may have some time for improvement. All right, the last 100 meter. So Cheng Long is leading Fei Li Wei with three seconds. So if we look at the situation right now, we can actually come up with a list of top three. So for the third place and the second place, they also have a big difference. Now he's getting a 441 second advantage compared to Fei Li Wei. I believe um, he will come up with a result faster than his registered result. Very fast. And today he has a 753.84 as the final result. Fili Wei, the final result is 758.34, also better than his registered result. Zhang Ziyang, 801.94. I think Zhang Ziyang is actually affected by his personal strength because he just finished the 200 meter freestyle. He has to change his physical condition. Because when you're coming to the 800 meter, it is a test of the endurance. So even though Zhang Ziyang is in the fast group, his final result is actually slower than the champion of the slower group.
So even though these athletes have been divided into the fast group and the slow group, but still, if we come to the final result, we will look at their result in the final game. And now we will have the last final game for this morning, that is the 800 meter freestyle for women. Wang Jianjiahe will also compete for this game. Ma Qianhan from Shandong Haosha, Zhang Yutong from Lane 1, Qingxing, Nei Seven. Ru Jiaping from Lane 2 and her registered result is 8 minutes 38 and 5-0. Ma Yu Hui Lane 3, Zhang Ke from Hebei Taihua and her registered result is A2992. Hou Yawen registered result is A29, A7. Uh, we have the best player, the Wang Jian Jiahe. And the registered result is 8 minutes, 20 seconds, and 96. And actually, based on their registered result, Wang Jian Jiahe is nine seconds ahead of the second place. So in the past, the 800 meter uh, freestyle game is the longest distance competition in swimming pool for the Olympic Games. But now in the uh, Winter Olympics, uh, we have another item called a 1,500 meter freestyle. So because right now we could see the strength has been improved for these athletes. So in the future, maybe we have different varieties of the competition. The world record for the 800 meter freestyle for women is 8 minutes, 4 seconds and 7-9. Just right at the beginning, we could see Wang Jian Jiahe is leading others because we we look at the register result. Wang Jian Jiahe is about like nine seconds ahead of others. So for every a hundred meter, she has to gain at least the one second advantage as compared to the second place. So for her, I think the most important thing is to test her personal condition and to test the training results. And yesterday we also see Wang Jianjiahe attended the 400 meter freestyle and I think she is a very have a very good physical condition. And also she used to be the Asian record holder. And she is in very good morale. I think it's very difficult for an athlete to maintain at the same level of performance. It's quite a pity for Wang Jian Jiahe back in the 2019 World Championship because she got injured one month before the game. Then she's not able to attend the 2019 World Championship. This will have a big impact for the athlete's performance. So I believe last time, even though she attended the World Championship, but she is not able to obtain a medal. So I believe this time, um, she 
really want to gain a medal in the Tokyo Olympics. Because of that, I think she keep encouraging himself herself to make further improvements. So for some of the athletes, maybe they are leading players in the national competition, but these athletes have to find a higher goal. For example, they will want to compete in international competition. And right now we could see the advantage of Wang Jian Jiahe is extended to four and a half seconds. So do you think she will become the winner with 10 seconds advantage? Let's see. Very strong for Wang Jian Jiahe. Especially for long distance competition, if the athletes are able to find out their pace, and then they will be quite relaxed to complete the game. Talking about the short distance competition, we need to have a group of people compete with each other, and then the players will come up with a good results. However, for the long distance um, competition, we need these athletes to abide by their own pace so that they are able to come up with a better result. We still remember back in that time, but in old days, we have the Olympic game winner, and she used to come up with a result of 7 minutes and 32 seconds. That is because she has maintained a very good pace throughout the game especially in the later stage, she is becoming faster. And we still remember she set the record of 7 minutes and 32 seconds. And I believe that kind of record is very difficult to break. So for this athlete, you have a very need to have a very high level of morale in order to make breakthroughs. 450 meters after the turn, uh, we could see Wang Jian Jiahe already gained the advantage of eight seconds. Now Wang Jian Jiahe is 15 meters ahead of the second place. So based on this, I think um, she will be able to gain a 25 meter advantage. But I don't think she will break her personal record which is 8 minutes 40 seconds. So let's see how she performed in the last 300 meters. 550 meter pass. So I believe she will surpass her registered result, which is 8 minutes 20 seconds. But right now, we still have a very intense competition for the second place and the third place. Because for these athletes, they are very close with each other. After 500 meters for this lap, Wang Jian Jiahe is slowing down. Six forty nine one six to complete the six hundred and fifty meters. I think the last 200 meter is very challenging for the athletes. So 
How do we just touch upon this topic? How to adjust the strategy or the tactics in accordance to your physical condition? So for some of the athletes, they need to come up with their personal plan. And for some of them, maybe they would like to gain a leading position at the beginning. And if they have very good strength, and then they could, they are able to abide by their own pace. Otherwise, they will fall behind with the others. But still, the first part of the game is very important. Now they are entering into the last 50 meter. I believe Wang Jianjiahe will surpass her registered result. Well, it's hard to say. Maybe 8 minutes 21 seconds? It's hard to say. A2132. Especially in the last 200 meters, uh, she is slowing down. Zhang Ke, number two. Hou Yawen, number three. But still, Wang Jianjiahe is able to lead 10 seconds as compared to the second place. And yesterday we have the final for the slow group, and Yu Zhuoxuan ranked number one, and uh, her final result is A3511. I believe she will become the fifth place. So the top three players are Wang Jianjiahe, Zhang Ke, and Hou Yawen. So that is the end for this morning session's competition. And now we will have the award ceremony for the 100 meter butterfly for men and women. So, Mr. Wukong, can you tell us what impressed you the most in this morning's section? If we just look at the result, I think I'm still impressed by Zhang Yufei in her performance of the 100 meter butterfly. Even though she's not able to surpass her personal record, but 5608 is still quite competitive. And also, I'm impressed by the performance of the 800 meter freestyle, especially uh, Cheng Long and Fei Li Wei's performance, because for these two athletes, they have gained like personal breakthroughs. And for some of the renowned athletes, for example, Fu Yuanhui, Qin Haiyang, Xu Jiayu, I think they have very standardized performance. So their performance could demonstrate their training. And I believe in winter they have done a lot of intense training. So for this competition, it's a chance for them to demonstrate themselves. Now we are having the award ceremony for the 100 meter butterfly. The third place goes to Hong Jingquan. And the second place goes to Shen Jiahao, also from Zhejiang team. And his final result is 53 seconds. And the winner is Sun Jiajun. And his final result is 52.51. If we look at the body condition, Hong Jingquan is better than the others. You're talking about the body condition. 
Uh, for example, for swimmers, we don't think the taller the better, and we need to have a limit. So what is the best height for the swimmers? I think for some of the excellent players, they have uh, over 1.9 meters. And for myself, I'm at 183. And come to the national team in 2001. And I'm not the tallest. But when I retired, I found all of the athletes are very tall. They are higher than 1.85 meters. Because for these athletes, they have to compete with international players. But of course, it's not the taller, the better. Because for swimmers, they have to be flexible. For the international standards, and we do see a lot of players they are above 1.9 meters. But still, we from time to time, we will see some players above 2 meters. But still, I think if they're taller, maybe they may have some experience. And also some people were saying, if you love swim, swimming, and maybe you will get taller. So actually, that is a very virtuous cycle. And of course, if you are participating in exercise or sports events, it will help you to improve your height. So it is not just like doing like basketball or volleyball that you can become taller, and actually you can choose to be a swimmer. And this will help to improve the growth for all of the juveniles. So right now we are doing a lot of uh, research, and also we educate the younger generation for swimming. And actually, I think swimming is not just a sport. And actually, it's a skill. When, when you are running into a risk, actually, you're able to save yourself. Now we have the award ceremony for the 100-meter butterfly for women. So we have a deputy from Hebei Swimming and the Diving Sports Management Center to present the award. The third place goes to Yu Yi Ting, and her final result is 59.22nd. And the second place goes to Wang Yichun from Shandong Haosha, and her final result is 58.82. And the winner is Zhang Yufei from Jiangsu Sifang. And her final result is 56.06. In this item, we think Zhang Yufei is leading others, and it's very difficult for her to come up with a competitor. Congratulations to these three athletes. So with these two days competition, we can see for some competition, maybe there are some extraordinary player athletes. So what do you think about this situation? Will this situation come up, will like impact the competition inside of the team? Well, I think if there are one or two key players, maybe some athletes are not able to develop a very high morale. For example, for some people um, who are doing the backstroke or a backstroke, and their objective is to surpass the number one player. 
and also they have to benchmark themselves with the Asian standard and also the world standard. But if there is an extraordinary player or asset in the specific game, it may have some impact on other players. But I believe each coin has two sides. Sometimes it's a good thing to have these players. For example, for the 200 meter backstroke, if Qin Haiyang is very good, and then he will actually help the others to improve themselves. So still we need to have a balance to give full advantage of these key leaders. So for the swimming competition, we could tell there may be some renowned athletes. For example, we have Sun Jiajun and uh, we have Ji Xinjie. And for these athletes, maybe they're not as good as Sun Yang, but still, these athletes are able to participate in the international competition. And some of them are also able to set a record in Asia. I believe in the past we do have some uh, key figures, and maybe there may be some restrictions for the improvement of the domestic players. And I think we have to um, study this to see how we can better leverage the advantage uh, brought by those key players. So now we are having the award ceremony for the 800 meter freestyle for men. And Qiu Ziao, even though he's coming uh, from the slow group, but he's not, he's able to become the third place for the 800 meter race. And Cheng Long is the winner for the 800 meter freestyle competition. And his final result is 7 minutes 53 seconds 84. Very good performance. Now we will have the last award ceremony that is for the women's competition for the 800 meter freestyle. For this year's national swimming competition, it's taken place in Zhengding County of Hebei. And actually, it's the first time for Shi Jiazhuang, Zhengding County to hold this level of national competition. And actually, this game started on December the 31st of 2020. So for the sports lovers, they can actually watch the game online during this New Year festival. So this is also a gift uh, presented by the swimming sector in China. So here I also want to wish every one of you Happy New Year. So this is uh, actually the New Year special coverage for the national swimming competition. So for the 800 meter freestyle for women, it's the last game in this morning section. For some of the athletes, they have to change their clothes and 
Actually, I believe the schedule is very tight in the morning. For the award ceremony for other items, actually, they have some time to change over, but uh, for the 800 meter freestyle for women, so for these athletes, they have to change their clothes and come up to the award ceremony. So I would like to understand how these athletes relax themselves after they finish the game. This is a very important topic. After the game, for these athletes, they have to relax themselves, especially to relax their muscles. And sometimes after very intense competition, they need to relax their muscle. Otherwise, you maybe suffer from a sour muscle. But still, we have some standard for you to relax your body. For example, you have to control your heartbeat, so you have to find out an effective way so that uh, you could help to, e help to ease the lactic acid. For example, if you are doing a long distance swimming competition and you have to control your speed. And for myself, when I'm doing the relaxation, I would like to relax my legs first. In general, I will actually like coming up with a walk for about a thousand meters. And from time to time after we end the competition, some of the assets have to undergo a drug testing. So if they don't have to receive the drug testing and then the doctors will help to do some massage to relax the muscles for the athletes. And after the relaxation, and for these athletes, they're able to go back to their hotels. So for the athletes, they are able to swing another 1,000 meter for relaxation. But for amateurs, it's very difficult for them to swing again. Because for the amateurs, they may be more exhausted. So I recommend these amateurs to do some stretching to stretch your muscle. But I think the best way to relax yourself is to do another round of swimming again. It's just like after you are dashing in the track field, so maybe you could also have some jogging for relaxation. Right now we are in winter and the temperature is very low, so make sure that you do enough warm-up activities and after the competition make sure you relax yourself. And now we have the award ceremony for the 800 meter freestyle for women. And the third place goes to Hou Ya Wen. And the second place goes to Zhang Ke, and her final result is 8.21.53. And the winner goes to Wang Jian Jia He. Actually, he gained the first place with over 10 second advantage. And her final result is 8.20.96. All right, so that's the end of the live coverage in the morning section. Thank you for watching. See you next time.